Hello everybody. We're going to talk today about the tire navigation system, which you can see I have here. A free application available on the internet. I've posted the link below in the comment section. That's for the Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycles 2014 and up with the 6.5 inch infotainment system installed. It enables you to select waypoints, plot them on a map, select routes and store on a memory stick for upload into your infotainment system and eventual use on your motorcycle. A very versatile system. So here we go. We're going to show you how to use it right now. All right. So what you want to do is we're going to leave. You can see it's in order to set a waypoint here, you would have to zoom in. There's a much better way to do it. And that's go to waypoint, add manually. Okay. And that's where you would put them in. It just so happened that I typed these waypoints in earlier and cut and pasted them. So I can just paste them in here. There they are. There's the Harley Davidson dealer and the Hunting Island State Park. We'll search for those. There they are. And there's the route. See, you can see those two waypoints showed up right up here. Isn't that cool? Now, that's the route that if you just typed in, if you started off from anywhere up here and you just started off wanting to go to Hunting Island, it would be just easier to put the address in into your, your uh, uh, infotainment uh, GPS system. But we don't want to do it the way that they want to send us. We want to go a different way. So that's where the great utility of this uh, comes in. We want to go through Cottageville. So there's Cottageville. You can see it there. We'll zoom in again. Okay. And we're going to set a waypoint there at Cottageville and take us that way instead because some of these roads back in here are pretty curvy and nice and this is a beautiful drive right here along alternate 17 so we're going to set a waypoint by just clicking uh, right clicking new waypoint immediately here it is all right but you'll notice a convoluted route showed up that's because it's at the end so we need to move the new waypoint to the middle to change the routing so we'll move it up now it's there it's going to recompute the route and it should come up by hitting compute right here see it calculate and it should redo the route there it is it went through cottageville there's a couple other places here that we want to go through there's some nice curvy roads back in here and uh, we we might do those but uh, this this route looks really good this is a gorgeous part of the state you can see it takes you down through all the lie islands here and it's a gorgeous beach there i'm going to do a ride on that so you can see that we have done a lot of stuff but let me show you a couple of other things with this software just so you can see it let's say that you had a urge to do something entirely different like you wanted to come down through ashley forest and then go back this way you did not want to go this part of the road so to do that you notice that when you hand over the route you get a little ball that's the grab ball you grab it move the route down to here and now you're going that way and it'll put the waypoint in for you in the right place just keep, let it say new waypoint don't name it unless you really want to whatever you put on there is what's going to come up on your infotainment system so it's going to say new waypoint new waypoint unless you give it an ashley forest name okay so that's how that works now you've got the route in you know what the time is going to be it's going to be about two hours with a one hour stop yeah, maybe in Cottageville. That's probably where we'll stop and grab a sandwich or get gas. Let everybody rest their back. So there you have it. Now you have a route in there. And you can go down and you can pull this route. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. If you want to go do some twisty somewhere, see. Uh, but uh, cancel that. We don't want to do that. We're going to rem remove that because we didn't want that. Yes. There you go. We're back where we started. All right. So. That's how you do it. Now, we have the routes right. We have the uh, thing set up. And you can do this clear across the United States if you want to with all these waypoints. Everywhere you want to stop, you can do, you know, from Charleston to Los Angeles. You can do this whole thing. You can have hundreds of waypoints. And the infotainment system will take it if it has the memory if you don't have a bunch of others in there already. So we've got four waypoints on this, this plan. And we're ready to put it in a motorcycle. Well, here's how you do that. First thing you have to do is you have to get your um, memory stick. Now, the memory stick needs to be the default configuration that it comes. It comes as a FAT32 uh, format, and that's the way you need to leave it. If you change it to a MAC format or a FAT FAT format, it will... Uh, uh, not read it on the motorcycle. It's got to be a FAT32 format. If, if you've not changed it or you formatted it to some other format, you do need to change it back. So it needs to be FAT32. Uh, and if you get out there and hook it up to the motorcycle and the motorcycle doesn't find it, that's the reason. 
Okay, so the thing you have to do is you're ready to save this route now. So my memory stick is already in, so I'm going to do a save as. And I'm going to go to my memory stick, which is down here. There it is right there. And there's nothing in there. I'm going to save it as hunting island. All right. Now, it has to be saved as a graphics interchange, Garmin graphics interchange file, GPX file. Otherwise, the motorcycle will not recognize it. Garmin GPX exchange files. And you save it. Okay, it's saved. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure it actually got saved. So I'm going to check it. I'm going to go look at my memory stick and make sure that, that indeed hunting island there's another one I did called moose root and it will ask me about those when I go out there on the motorcycle which ones I want let me get rid of this other stuff just so it doesn't confuse the motorcycle these were GoPro things I put on here since I got my new computer I don't need this intermediate step to uh, load my GoPro camera to the computer I just goes directly into the computer okay Okay, Hunting Island and Moose Root. Those are two routes that I had in there. And we're going to use the Hunting Island one. So when they are there, they're ready to go. So I'm going to go to uh, my motorcycle and pick the video up there when we are putting the route in. I'll be back in a minute. Well, hello everybody. I'm back. Alright, I've got the uh, memory stick here. You can see it's a 16 gigabyte memory stick. And I'm going to put it into the bike. This is where it goes. It goes into the thing over here. Okay, it's in. Now, it has to go in first. Um, the next thing you do is turn it on, turn the bike on in accessory mode. And uh, I'm going to, you have to wait for the whole thing to, to come up and wait for navigation to come up before you do anything. So I'm going to probably fast forward right here. Okay, we got the navigation system is up and we're back. So the first step you have to take now, you've got navigation up, is you, you click nav, menu in the top right corner, import from that memory stick, remember the name you saw earlier, there's Hunting Island and there's Moose Root. Well, we want Hunting Island today, so we'll push that one. Okay, Hunting Island, and you have to click the little symbol right here. It's really important to click the symbol, okay? Import from Hunting Island, yes. And you're done. So you just go back. And you can go right to Nav. Where to, and this is how you set it up. Go down to more, trips, hunting island, right there. Start. And go. Okay, it's computing now. Two hours and 24 minutes is where it's going to take. Remember, we took all those little detours, so that's how long it's going to take. Two hours and 20 minutes from now, so we'll be getting there oh, about 1 o'clock, give or take. So that's how you put it in a motorcycle. We've got it all set up. You saw how easy it was. It wasn't that hard to do. So uh, we're going to go to a, a short video now of me making the actual trip, uh, and, uh, and we'll be back in a minute.
Do what? 